welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing FaveHealthyRecipes.com how to make this orange beef with broccoli. Now this isn't the same orange beef that we're used to seeing on the Chinese takeout menu, which is usually deep fried. That version is delicious, but it can also be disastrous when it comes to trying to fit it into your healthy diet. This version borrows the flavors of orange beef but uses the stir-fry technique and vegetable ratio of beef with broccoli. So the final result is a well-balanced classic with a brand new citrusy makeover. All right, to make this one you're gonna need 12 ounces of lean beef cut into thin strips. You could use ribeye or New York strip steak, but I use top round sirloin because it's a lot more affordable. Four tablespoons of gluten-free soy sauce divided in half one clove of garlic, either minced or microplaned, one orange, the zest will go into the beef marinade, and the juice will go into the sauce, two tablespoons of vegetable or peanut oil, four cups of fresh broccoli florets, three green onions that you've chopped into small pieces, plus more for garnish if you want, 12 ounces of gluten-free beef broth, one teaspoon of sambal sauce or other Asian chili sauce. If you want it extra spicy, you could add more. And for a milder dish, just omit it completely. One tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. All right, now first stir the beef together with two tablespoons of the soy sauce, the orange zest, and the garlic, then set it aside. And for the sauce, in a medium bowl, combine the beef broth with the remaining two tablespoons of soy sauce, the sambal sauce, vinegar, brown sugar, the juice of the orange, be sure you've zested it first since it's kind of hard to do after you've squeezed it, and the cornstarch. Then whisk it all together until the cornstarch is dissolved and everything is well combined. Okay, now in a large saute pan or wok over a medium high heat, Add the oil and beef and saute stirring frequently for three to four minutes or until the beef is no longer pink. Then remove it from the pan and set it aside. Now give the sauce a quick stir before adding it to the pan. You wanna make sure that the cornstarch hasn't settled to the bottom. Add the broccoli and bring the sauce up to a boil while stirring pretty continuously and let it boil for one to two minutes. Then add the beef back to the pan and continue stirring until the sauce is thickened, the beef is heated through, and everything is well coated in sauce, and then it's ready to serve. Now I garnish this with a little more orange zest, some crushed red pepper, and green onions to highlight the heat from the sambal sauce, and the sweetness of the orange flavor. Now the broccoli in this dish will remain pretty crisp, but if you're more of a fan of well done broccoli, you could blanch it in boiling water for two to three minutes before adding it to the pan. However you'd like to do it, I hope you'll give this recipe a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for additional recipes and tips to fit in with your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.